Well, good afternoon, church family. It is, uh, can you believe it's Friday already? <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh, I can't wrap my mind around it. But it is, it's Friday already. I hope you had a wonderful week. We did have uh, beautiful weather all week. Just a little taste of, of spring, what's to come. So uh, that's good. I see now that the clouds are, I'm just looking out my office window and the clouds are rolling in. It looks like it'd probably start raining. Uh, but that's okay. We did. We had a beautiful week, so that's cause to rejoice. Um, yeah, I just uh, touch base a little bit, and I'm working really hard to keep these at five minutes, so I'm going to shoot for that. But uh, let's see, things that you should be aware of. Well, uh, let's all continue to pray together um, that we would be able to meet for Easter. I think that would be wonderful. Um, and if we need to do multiple services, we would consider doing that, I hope. Um, that we can, because of people wanting to be together in worship. Um, so pray for that, and we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, also, we had announced that, you know, we, we will uh, do baptisms on Easter Sunday. So if you, um, if you are a disciple of Christ, um, and you are to be baptized. So if you haven't, uh, we would invite you to, to contact us, and I'd love to sit down and just, uh, uh, talk with you about doing that and um, and work towards that. So please let us know that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I uh, I have been working on the the uh, final beatitude here um, for Sunday morning as we go to look at it verses ten to to twelve here. Um, Christ says, "Blessed are you." Or sorry, I jumped ahead there. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And this is the, the you know, that final beatitude, and I take the two as essentially one, um, but that... Um, you know, it, the, the all the rest of the Beatitudes are really focused on describing the Christian person, and this final one describes what what a disciple of Christ can expect, what kind of life they can expect, um, and it's one of persecution, and um, and so it, it really is uh, quite important, and and of course these verses have always uh, been important uh, for the church throughout the age. I do think, however. For Christians in North America, I think these verses are probably beginning to take on new significance for us and will as the years go on. Um, and so I think they're really important for us to understand and think about. And I, you know, as we think about it, we, we need to be careful not to misunderstand what the Lord is saying. He is not saying, blessed are those who are persecuted. He is saying, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. And there's a big difference there. We can be persecuted for all kinds of reasons. Some of it is because we've acted the part of a fool. We've done something foolish or, you know, sinful. Part of it comes because we, we hold different views or something. They're like, But they don't necessarily... Persecution comes to us sometimes... Uh, for different reasons, and it doesn't always, it's not always because of our faith in Christ or our godly living. And so I think we really, we need to carefully consider this and understand what the Lord is saying. We, and, and we want to, uh, on Sunday, you know, we want to, we want to consider what he's not saying, what persecution he's not talking about. And then understand really what persecution he is talking about and why we can expect it. So I, I hope I, I would invite you to consider those things over the weekend, uh, to, to read those couple verses and to consider what he's not saying, what he is saying and what it might look like. And so uh, that's what we'll explore on Sunday morning. I invite you to join us as we do that. And um, I hope uh, you have a blessed weekend. And even if it does rain, I pray that your hearts would be full of joy and, uh, and love and peace in the Holy Spirit. Okay, we'll see you Sunday morning.